Hey y'all, this is Tammy Darley with T. Darley Photography. We are in beautiful downtown Dothan, Alabama. We're gonna go around and find some of the spots that we can take beautiful, beautiful portraits that you don't necessarily think are gonna be all that great when you're there. We're gonna go over kind of the first location we're gonna shoot at today. And it's just a little park that's in downtown. And if you see, you know, you've got you got your pretty pergola. So everywhere you go, you need to just kind of take stock. What are my options? What do I see that is available to me? Most everybody is gonna go for that obvious. We don't always want obvious. Um, the water fountain over there, you know. It, it, it would be beautiful if it was sitting out in the middle of a field, but it's got all that crap behind it. So we don't like the crap, we cut the crap. The, the brick steps are cute. I mean, they're, they're pretty and, you know, you could take something, something nice there, but not necessarily for a beauty shot, which is what I'm trying to do right now for this senior girl. In just this little bit that, that we're looking at, a regular photographer might come in and say, oh, there's nothing here, let's go on. And they would have missed probably one of the most beautiful close-up shots that you would ever want to see of this lovely young girl, and I'm going to show you where. This one piece of this pergola right here, it's got a lot going on. It's beautiful, textured, old, weathered wood. What I'm looking at is, okay, I've got that beautiful wood that's gonna be right up against her skin tone. If you look from this point right here, this looks like it's nothing. It's a piece of wood and it's some greenery. I've already previously told our, our model, our senior, to wear something in the red family. Um, when in doubt with your colors, and that's gonna be a whole new video too. When in doubt with your colors, go opposite. Sometimes go tone on tone, but go opposite. Don't always do what's it, you know expected, but definitely look at what is gonna be the most eye-popping for that shot. Okay, everybody, <laughs> this is actually my great niece. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> I know all you guys out there, the southern accent just did it for you, didn't it? <laughs> so we've already shown you kind of what we're going to do. I have already talked to the model about what colors to wear, and luckily I've not, I've seen this dress before, but um, I had kind of forgotten about this absolutely awesome texture along in here. And what I need for you to do is kind of, kind of find your way in here. Find your way in here a little bit more. Okay, so while I'm looking, and of course this can be another video as well, but what I'm looking for is which way is her hair braided? Um, the shape of her face. Uh, there's just all kind of different things you want to look at, but right now we're just wanting the beauty shot. So if you kind of see over my shoulder here, just that right there, this texture, the texture in her shirt, the, the greenery all coming up. Now, obviously, if you had a wide angle, you're not gonna wanna do a full length here because then you got all your crap. And what do we do with the crap? We cut the crap. We don't want the crap in our shot. So, Gracie, just for now, I want you to move in, bring that left shoulder. And if you notice, I'm kinda taking my hands and trying to guide her in. It's a little bit easier for her that way. Now, one thing I do want y'all to watch, and this is totally off subject, but it's you know one of those things you're gonna wanna watch. L girls with, with longer hair, they tend to get, this little area that kind of wants to go in front of the neck, and that's really difficult to kind of clean out in Photoshop. So, if you don't have, like some, you know, everybody's got their own different toys. Uh, if I'm shooting a girl for a beauty shot, I can have a reflector, or I, I have the Westcott highlighter. Now, the highlighter is it's big and kind of cumbersome, but what you get out of it is so very well worth it. Whereas with a reflector, you know, it's kind of flat. You're gonna get kind of a flat highlight in the eyes. The eyeliner is gonna kind of curve and kind of follow the iris and light those irises up. For those of you that don't want the eyeliner or don't have the eyeliner, you can kind of bend your reflector like a taco and kind of get a similar, similar look. It's just this eyeliner is awesome. We're gonna bring this in. Now this is not always something that you would want for a group because it would be in your shot. But for a single or for, you know, like a couple, this is awesome. So, Jenny, if you'll step in. Oh, absolutely gorgeous, which I knew it would be. Just lay your hands on the post. Now, that's going to be something you're not going to want to do often. But you, if you do it right, it's, it's a beautiful, 
you know, beauty portrait. So lay the hands down flat. You don't ever want to put the back of your hand kind of to the camera, okay? So put both hands up. Like this. Just, just like this. Okay. Both hands. Now. Oh, there we go. Gorgeous. Now, because the 85 1.2 tends to focus jump just a little bit, I'm going to have that focal point right over her eye. Um, if you're up at 2.8, 3.5, you're not going to have that problem. When you start getting down to 2, 1.8, 1.6, that 85, and this a Canon, I don't know about some of the other ones, but the Canon tends to want to follow and focus jump. So what I'm trying to do is get the greenery, the post, her, the texture of her sleeve, and everything else is just going to kind of melt off into a beautiful watercolor painting. We're going to move on to our next spot, and uh, we'll see you there. All right, I'm rolling again. Jack, you still rolling? Okay, yes. There we are. Oh, I answered for Jack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jack is still rolling, whether he is or not. It just is because I decreed it so.